Okay, so where do we start? So first off, I would recommend that after today's session, I would like you to go in and audit each platform and check the following. I want you to check your own access. Uh, we actually found, unfortunately, many times that the owners weren't set as owners on their own accounts. They actually had been added as managers by previous employees and then we've had lots of problems so you want to make sure you're the owner and i'm going to show you that on a few places today um, you want to make sure that you're checking your staff access um, who's still on it you also want to note that you may add people and then i would say this checklist um, make sure you do this at least twice a year um, just run through them because you may notice that you don't have individuals who you need to have on there anymore. Um, partner access, that's something that we're also going to see. The general security settings that change platform by platform. And then you do want to check your notifications. So this is uh, one of the things I was kind of joking around with my mom the other day. I love Apple Pay. And Jennifer, why does this, why do you bring this up, right? Because one of the things that I found with Apple Pay is that my credit card that I use, every time it gets used, it sends me a little alert. Now, my husband and I share a credit card. So every time he uses it, it sends me an alert. I love this because that little notification, if someone actually found my card and used it for a low-end purchase, that's oftentimes not declined. So I would get a little alert. So notifications are really important to turn on and notice the changes that happen in them. You'll also note that notifications that come directly from the platforms, as much as you may not love push notifications, they are much safer for you than relying on email notifications because that is where we will see, that is where a lot of what is called phishing scams um, will happen. And it is, by the way, how Many of the people I've worked with over the years have had their accounts hacked is not through the platform directly, but the email that they thought came from the platform and it did not.